Hey everybody, Jeremy here with a new show I wanted to start called Browsy, and I want to kick it off with one uh, game called Heroes of the Realm, which is sort of a CCG meets city building meets kind of a, a unique kind of turn-based uh, tactical. I don't know. It's a lot. It's really turn-based, uh, but it's also kind of determined uh, in advance a little bit. Uh, but here's uh, some of the CCG side of it. If we look here, we, we start seeing our cards. I'm in the, the level up screen. Uh, here we can take a, just a look at one of the cards, what it looks like. Uh, you have base attributes like any character would have. You have on the back of the card, you have the level. Well, same as front, but uh, the star here is what tier. I believe that goes up, there's like five tiers uh, for uh, cards. Uh, tier 5 being like the ultimate. But there's quality too. I think there's like rare, uh, different kind of rarities as well. But you have your skills and stuff and you, um, down here. So you have, uh, it's kind of neat. You have characters that are cards, but they can learn skills and can unlock more. See the next one I get is a 10 and then 20. Uh, and this tells me a little bit about what class I am. There's there's roughly maybe like four classes. Um, there's hero cards. Then there's uh, these are all hero cards. But then there's other cards I haven't even gotten into yet. Uh, let me see. You can go by race or type, tier, status, condition, element, zodiac sign, contrast, combine, all that good stuff. Uh, you can also outfit each of your cards guys, whatever you want to, want to call them. So like, right now I have this guy, I have a spear that has strength plus one. I've been mostly upping his strength and will because he's a uh, he's a fighter class. He came pretty tough, actually. Uh, so I can look down here and see if anything I have to uh, work on for clothes. And I got these drops from combat, which we'll show in a minute here. But let's see, there's wisdom, that's better for a uh, magic user like my young Edith here which I've already got a leather cap which gives wisdom plus one I haven't socketed the gem socket yet let me see if there's anything better no, no, no. here's a nope that staff's worse than the one I have I have the wise broom so, let, so let's go back uh, look some more this is Shar. I kind of won her, I think. Uh, I forget where now. She's she's pretty tough, and as you can see, she's a tier 2. This is my only tier 2 I've won so far. But she has a passive skill, increases the critical damage by 50%. So that's a big, that's a big thing for me, at least right now. In the low levels, I'm only level 5, my main dude or hero. I could raise her will. I've been raising her strength and will as well, so I could put these pants on her point and give her a little boost. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? I don't really have anything. There's a spear. That's strength plus two. That's worse. It's for charger. So I can, I can update those a little bit. Uh, this one right here is pretty much the city building side of it. It's pretty much like any city building browser game you've seen. Uh, you're, you have to build buildings, which this is your main hall. You could click on it and get your options. Uh, I could construct. Here's what I have unlocked so far that I could construct a restaurant now if I wanted to. So I could, uh, well, I can only have two going at the same time. As, and as you can see, I still have a minute and 17 seconds left on my temple. So we'll come back to that. Here's some farms, and if I wanted to, I could set them to, you know, making some sweet potatoes and tomatoes right now. And here's the gold cost. So and that's only five minutes for that. <clears throat> tomatoes take 30 minutes. Now I have over here what's called the Oracle. Now the Oracle is a place to get new cards. Let me close this chat down a little bit. Uh, you have up here at the top, that's always showing at the top, this menu bar, and this is your resources that you have. Your money, 
your food, ore, mana stone, and soul stone. Now, soul stone is is sort of a in-game commodity. Uh, you can buy it, you can buy chests from the cash shop and get sort of lucky to, and get large amounts of soul stone from buying. But you can earn it a few different ways in game. And if I wanted to, I could say how many I want to purchase, and I could, because what I'm doing here is it's like purchasing a card, but it's a chance. So uh, let's go ahead and spend a hundred just to do it. So here we go. See, it's a chance. Uh, now I'll flip one. It will show, and it shows me all the cards that I could have gotten. But this is the one I got. I got Duroth, level 1, tier 1. And as you can see, he's really high in wisdom. Well, intelligence, wisdom, then luck. And then willpower, and then strength. So I, I just got him. Cost me 100 soul stone. That's, uh, bam, I got that card. Uh, so I can go out now, uh, and let's go to... Let's go back to here, and here it shows my new card. Now if I want to, I can combine cards to create a new card. Here we go, combine screen. This is really neat, this is interesting. Uh, oops, you have to have at least four. I only have three. Uh, let's go back and buy a card. I'll take the one on the right. Ooh. What did I get? Ooh, she's high in, in willpower and strength. Okay. That's cool. Alright, so now we've got four here I can play with. Here we go. So, here's our new card. Now let's go to combine. And let's just, you know, I haven't been using these. I'm going to show you how about formation and uh, battle. And show you the battle here in a second. It's kind of fun. It's kind of neat. Uh, so I can just click on these four, and at least four. But you could fill up all of these. And I'm not quite sure of of any min maxing yet. Of what makes what if I don't know if you can learn how to make a better card or not. You know, um, they have a really big wiki and dictionary and stuff. You can view hero cards, like you can view all the cards available. So we hit combine and say yes. Whoosh! And what I get? Condition perfect! Woohoo! So let's see. I got Tama. And Tama is tier 1. And but in perfect condition, as you can see, the conditions are right below the uh, days of contract, and I'll get to that. You're basically hiring. You don't really buy the cards. You basically hire them with the. But ooh, I didn't even notice Lisa here. I have a tier two in good condition. That's awesome. I might have to swap her out. I'll show that in a moment. So. You, once you build a rally, a rally point, you can access your cards and you can assign to your army and you can even mess with formation. So I just leveled up to level 5 and it unlocked a new slot. You can have up to 10 units, as you can see here. I only have 5 unlocked so far. So let's, uh, let's see, they can all level up as well. So, every time you get a new one that's better, it doesn't mean you want to just throw the old one away. Because that old one's still leveling up and, you, you, and getting higher attribute points that you assign. And I'll show that too here. Uh, I'll show that in a minute. So, let's try... I don't know. Let's, we can view the card. Let's see. Ding ding, I think something's done being built. I she is she wow she's really high in strength and she's pretty good so let's put her in just click and drag and what's neat up here is you can see this graph 
at the top and it kind of gives you an idea of like where you're headed in your overall deck or whatever in your hand so I, I'm wondering if we should maybe swap this dude out let's let's keep it the way we have but and when you're done you have to remember to hit save deck in the top right corner and then confirm and then it will save it <clears throat> then what we've got here uh, let's go back to level up so this dude's ready to level up I was fighting and he and earned enough experience to level up as you can see I have points one to, to assign I can spend them any way I want. I think I'll put it into strength. And then I hit the check mark to confirm, and bam. That's pretty much it. Here's a nice list of uh, each rehiring. So each time you rehire a hero, contract extended for another 30 days. Uh, you'll receive one stat point every time you rehire a hero, up to five times. It's a cool little bonus. But I don't have any to rehire yet. Not at this point. So let's take a look at battle. Once you build your portal, you can hit function and you'll open up your stages. Uh, I cannot open this one up until I level up my portal to level two. But here's the first stage, which is divided into battles that unlock. As you play the first one, it unlocks this one, blah, blah, blah. And then these stars are for different qualities. There's normal, difficult, heroic, and you get a score just like games like Dragon Nest and stuff you get I got triple S on all these I think <laughs> I think that's the best but I played them over and over and over so I haven't played I, let's I could play it on difficult let's but let's just go to a simple battle I know I can win just to show you what it's like and I, oh before we do that let's go to the formation and we can we can v go to formation in that previous screen I looked at and it won't show any enemies but in this one before you fight you can hit formation so you can actually see how the enemy is formatted and now you see how I'm mousing over them it's showing you uh, which classes of mine are good against which enemies so this guy is effective versus defenders and chargers which would be that dude in the middle and the one in the back this dude here is effective versus ranged and chargers. I don't know why it's not showing that. This dude here, defender charger. This person here, fighter and caster. But now it's ineffective versus defender and charger. So these these two in the middle, which might be this is a class defender and this is a class defender. So this this archer is not good against this defender or that defender so I put her in the back and then you can just kinda like go back and and whoops hit save go back and then hit battle now this is pretty much automated which is very very <coughs> unusual it's kinda fun to watch though like I really like it this is normal speed. You can actually speed this up down here at the bottom because it's kind of like predetermined. So it's kind of playing out, but it's really fun. I mean, that's different for a browser game, and it runs really smooth. And I love that. <laughs> so you can see I'm kicking butt. Cause I got a, I added a, a fifth person to my lineup. Fifth unit. Wow. Oh yeah, double S. That's not perfect though. Now when you complete them, you'll win rewards the first time you complete them, and I already did. So uh, let's close this and let's try this one. Now I want to show you speeding this up. This is funny. Here's the fastest times four speed. And what's me? Oh yeah, second goblin invasion. So what's neat is I want some soul stone there too. You saw, and which goes towards rehiring and keeping hero cards that I like hired. What's kind of neat is. Uh, 
I could do a replay, which that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can watch other people fight. That would be awesome. Now, when you do a battle, you have a cooldown. Uh, as you can see here, three minutes, four minutes. But you could always come back here and, and uh, you know, do some stuff on here that might need done. You can check out your quests here. You can. This is where your quests are. Uh, and then you can receive your rewards that way. Here's... Uh, system mails see I got a returning the items of the following heroes I don't know why they return that to me anyways blink uh, that's pretty much how the battles go and then later you'll uh, let me go ahead and receive it then later of course you'll be getting up towards like high level like 10 players and higher tiers and then you can fight other players see here in the where'd it go down here is my arena I only have level one right now but I could go to it and it's, see it's actually giving me a tutorial which the tutorial has been kinda nice uh, a couple times it seemed to have disappeared until I got back on track on my own but uh, it's really nice and and all the controls and the way it functions is pretty solid it appears in my top left of my main browser because I'm, I'm 1920 by 1200. But uh, we can see here in the challenge mode you have to set up an army that can be different from the main army. So uh, through battles with other lords you can receive rewards twice a day by clicking the formation but you can set up your formation for the challenge mode. So we could do formation and it see it's running me through order. Now I now I can kind of set my own. It looks like I, I have all ten slots automatically unlocked. So I'm gonna put blink. I'm just gonna put them all in. It's really nice. You know the cards look really cool. I really like. I really like the graphics in this game. The cards look really cool. I mean, if those cards were real, that would be really awesome. And I don't know if this game comes from. Uh, this is, I think. OGP Planet Games that's publishing this. Uh, I'm guessing it's from the East. Uh, I, I, it would be neat to, to find out if they made this, if they kind of made a real life version of these cards. Because with this style, I mean, it would be really cool. And, and if you could figure out a way to incorporate this kind of extraneous stuff, like equipping and that, that would be an experience. It would be really cool. But as you can, so we can see here, I went bump, bump, and I went good, and I went down again. So let's go to formation. Whoops, I have to save this. Save. Formation. Oh, check that out. Oh, Tom is on a horse. Sweet. So now, see, I don't want my bow up there. I want bow in the back. There we go. Switch that. Uh, let's see, where should the horse be? Maybe the sh horse should be in front, huh? That's, uh, Owen. I don't want Owen there. I want Curve. Where's Curvan? He's pretty tough. I'm gonna replace him so he gets into the fight first. And then save. Blink, blink, blink. Now, I guess, uh, I guess we look for a challenge. Challenge 2020, practice 2020. So let's do a fight. Let's see what happens. Oh, no opponent selected. Uh, let's see, honor points. Looks like you can earn honor points to shop with. Beginner's challenge. Here's my, here's me rank. So let's there we go. Let's try that. Oh my goodness! They have a whole bunch of, of guys. Oh, oh my goodness! I needed to hire more heroes because I could have filled out all ten. But these are other players. I don't know. Let's fight. Let's do it. 
so you can imagine how it's kind of fun watching 10 vs. 10. Be kind of cool. We're gonna speed this up. Let's do it in times four. Engage. <laughs> That's a lot of oh. Could replay that one too. Let's close it out. So this is a, a kind of your, a, a first look at this game. Um, you can get a warehouse, and once your stuff is done, you just click right on it, harvest it, and you can start over. Uh, it's kind of fun. I mean, I'm captivated by it. I don't know how long I will be, but it's. I really like it. I, a big thing to me is just graphics. A lot of people go for this min maxing. I actually like. I actually care about where I put my buildings and how my city looks and stuff, you know, more so than actually caring about having like 200 farms all outputting at the most efficiency all bundled together like some people do. But, you know, that's fun too. If they have fun that way, that's cool. We can all have fun our own way. We can all get along. Okay, so that's that about wraps it up. This has been a lot longer than I thought it would be. I wanted my, I want Browsy to be a weekly show that comes out, uh, I don't know yet what day, but we're going to showcase a lot more cool browser games. The next one is, that we're going to take a look at is um, Ein, Ein Herjar, which is sort of Norse mythology. It's called, Ein, I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure. It's called Ein Herjar, the Viking's Blood. And it's kind of a it's kind of a tactics based browser game, so it's a little bit different. Uh, not your typical little, uh, not your typical basic plain city builder. So that'll be fun to look into. Ooh, I just got Dalen. And here's how you can get more soul stones too. By the way, uh, upgrading your temple will output more. Every once in a while, you collect. See, I just collected some. Da -da -da. And I can collect from my cottage too. Taxes, bum bum bum, to pay for more stuff. So that about wraps it up for Browsy. Uh, if you want, uh, you can always comment in the in the uh, comment section below. And if you have any questions, tips, let me know. And especially if you have any games that you want to see on here browser based okay but that's not limiting there's so many browser games coming out and so so many already out and some really unique stuff is starting to leak into the western market like this one for instance which is this you know neat little ccg meets a kind of a weird turn-based real-time battle system i mean this is kind of neat oh by the way if you want to try this out, today is an update for uh, Heroes of the Realm. They're going to have some, they're doing some kind of special release party sometime today. My guess is it'll be like midnight PST or something. But uh, they're uh, all the players are already chattering about it in chat and and figure that it's probably going to be uh, new cards for sure. So basically like new a new deck of cards and stuff coming out, which has all the people who veterans of the game super stoked and they're all saving they're all hoarding their soul stones so they can so they can get their hands on them. Uh and so yeah, uh hop in. The the community's been kind of fun and, and really helpful for me. Uh but that's that's gonna do it. Uh tune in next time with Ein Herjar or Ein Ein Herjar whatever I I don't know how to pronounce it and I'll see you guys next time